Oh, hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see, it's the uh, another kit review, obviously. It's the uh, Gecko Models um, KT Ambulance and it's the limited edition special box in which I assume <coughs> is because <coughs> excuse me, it's because it's got the figure in it and it also does features the uh, version which was uh, covered in the uh, or featured in the Ice Cold in Alex film, which is a very good film for its time. Um, Lots of well-known actors and actresses in it. So uh, anyway, I will s try one more thing. I can get it off. It's a typical one of these box in a box things, and it's quite. I've already had a little look in, but you can see the box kit number. If you're interested, which I can't see. Oh, it is 35GM0070. And then it's the usual opening box like that. And all the screws, so we can pop down here out of the way. And we will start with the instruction booklet, and I do mean a booklet look. Um, quick view of the uh, two versions uh, that's Katie from the movie, movie of the ice cold in Alex <laughs> good bit of translation there um, and then this one I will be doing this one this is the one which um, I believe was featured with the uh, future Queen God bless her in the uh, in the war and it's in Gambley and that's where I live so gonna do that one for definite so going back to the start of the instructions, obviously you've got a smaller box art picture and you've got some details about the vehicle. Um, I don't actually believe... Yeah, I'm not sure. I thought it was an Austin, but it says it's a Bedford in there. But uh, anyway, could be wrong there. Um, because they never actually put the name of the vehicle anywhere. They mention it in here. They say Bedford. This body was seen on the Bedford WT, but that, they're talking about two different sorts here. Sorry about my phone in the background. It very rarely goes off, and yet there it is today. Anyway, so you got the sprue call out there. Um, and then obviously, like most sort of things, starts building up the chassis and the leaf springs. Um, and obviously some brackets for something there don't ask me which the wheels now a lot of people are saying these are good design I'm not so sure because if you're putting this um, insert into the tire this part is the side wall of the tire so you've still got a mask up part of the rim and then you may even have a join line to deal with around the wall of the tire which I don't think is such a good idea I'd have preferred seeing a whole tire with the hub separate so anyway then on about installing the differential rear tyres building up the engine <coughs> continuing with the uh, engine installing the prop shaft the exhaust and then they give you a little overview of what it should look like then you've got the front axle and the tie rod for the steering which I think is poseable because it says don't glue certain bits <coughs> and again continuing you've got some hose put in which to me looks like a piece of wire in the kit um, that's obviously for the hydraulics for the brakes I assume but only seems to put it on one side which seems a bit odd to me hmm not sure about that building up the fuel tank installing the fuel tanks one on each side uh, I think this is the rear step into the vehicle with some PE on it Nice PE radiator with the with the manufacturer's badge on the front, which I believe I read somewhere. I saw somebody else say. Sorry about this bit of paperwork intruding. Um, <coughs> the one in ice cold from Alex didn't actually have it, so I believe you may have to remove that. Installing the radiator. There's a few bits of photo etch again. On. I mean, most of us work like that but their instructions go like that so just be careful about the order if you get one of these <coughs> installing it front mud guards bumper seats some stowage box underneath 
and this is the underside of the floor installing it gear lever handbrake um, <coughs> oh goodness sake pedals just put that on silent excuse the interruptions if I can work out how to do it that's it okay nice little bits of photo edge for the <coughs> pedals now there's another good oh shut up about what I was gonna say there's another good um, uh, review by Peter Oxley of this kit if you want a whole hour and lots of details on it um, he said something about only having two pedals but I assume that is the accelerator because he said something about it being the accelerator and the clutch and only having a handbrake but I thought it might have had brake and clutch and a hand throttle but I think that'll C40 I think that's the throttle fire extinguisher steering wheel moving on kind of like the firewall if I want another bulkhead engine bulkhead <coughs> decals for the instrument panel headlamps installing this onto the uh, chassis these are the side bits for the engine um, of the bonnet and <coughs> oh Christ installed sorry I just cannot get rid of this cough um, installing the bonnet the headlamps and other little bits and pieces um, another sort of emblem I think on the front there not sure what this is it's not a winch that I can see um, but it may well be but it's the actual winch mechanism isn't model I really don't know because I can't see anywhere where the winch would go a um, couple of fuel cans then we start on the interior the rear stretchers cases for the fuel cans water cans whichever they may oh, there's the water cans uh, which went un underneath outside um, installing the floor pan mud flaps with PE you know it's kind of thing maybe I'll put on a bit later in case I get knocked off um, rear bumper for want of a better word the doors little um, screens that you can put in your canvas screens door that went into the cab some fold down seats of these because they've got like backrests installing that uh, yeah there's another tip tip up seat on the door look um, installing the spare wheel some more PE uh, folding up some channels for the stretchers for the, to go in and then you got seats because these could carry seats or uh, stretchers I think it could carry four stretchers or something like 10 people seated and you got some bits for the roof ventilators more stretch uh, more bits to do with carrying the stretchers I believe um, they've got stops to prevent them moving around I believe uh, then you've got different options here so I think there is a picture somewhere of different options but these are stretchers stretchers or seats as I said and then again looks like you've got another option here oh no this is option one anyway yeah, well, we'll come back to the other option I guess there we go there's a picture of the two options you've got a uh, two stretchers there or one stretcher uh, being used not quite sure about that anyway then canvas side doors windscreen which can be modelled open which is rather nice which I dare say it was a nice cold in Alex cab roof so you can obviously have looks like half you can either have the canvas bit rolled up and the glass bit removed presumably it was kind of like a plastic because it looks crinkled or have it rolled up uh, wing mirrors quite sensibly putting some of these small bits on last rear doors you can have them open or closed I don't think they are movable and then one of these strange bits it doesn't actually tell you where they go or am I being silly 
Not those, but I can't see where it goes. I'm sure it will become apparent when you do the kit. And we're back to the end. So there's 62 steps in that seems a lot, but um, it's good instructions, good clear instructions. All right, moving on. In here, I think we've got decals and photo etch. Photo etch is covered with, with sticky plastic on both sides, I think, which I like. Stop some pinging off. Nothing too small on there. A couple of tiny the bits for the pedals are probably the tiniest, or oh, those bits are. God knows where they go. And the decals, just basic ones. Doesn't say who they're printed by. They look pretty good. The only problem is if these are supposed to be the body colour is matching them. Exactly. Don't know where they go. I could be wrong. But uh, and it's even got Katie underneath for the ice cold in Alex version. Now I was interested watching Peter's review about his figure Princess Elizabeth, God bless her. <laughs> his was very heavily flashed so I was expecting the same but as I hope you can see mine is very clean so I'm not sure what happened to Peter's the only bits of flash I've got are on some of these pouches. In fact, as far as I can see, just on that. And that's around one of the, the little gates to allow the air to blow into. <coughs> so there's that. Various hats, hats, helmets, what you like to call them. With, I think a chin strap up. And various bits. But uh, what it actually looks like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's 135th anyway. So that's the figure that comes with the kit. Yeah, it's um, a mixture of resealable bags, well that one's not even sealed, so let's start with that one. This has got the chassis parts on, and the radiators and the engines, I hope you can see, I'm actually filming this in 4K, uh, so hopefully you can see the different uh, details, it's all very nicely moulded, and the reverse side there's not so much detail obviously. And then you've got the front mud guards, the steering wheel, the dashboard interior, bonnet, various other bits, the side panels. In those. <coughs> I will put them away as I go. Maybe not. We'll do that later. And this bag is sealed. <coughs> Which are the side panels. Now I've read that they were canvas and they have got a bit of a texture on them. But I'd have thought maybe like here they'd have put a little bit of detail on them. <coughs> but it has got a, a slight texture and it is moulded because the other side isn't as rough. Uh, then you got the that, was that the door? Can't remember. Um, that's where the spare wheel go. Oh no, I'm not going to say what bits they are. These are the rolled up canvas bits for the door, all nicely moulded again. So I'm assuming these are the side doors. And that one back in. The only reason I put them back in is I'll never remember which bags they were in. I mean, if all the bags are the same size, well, all well and good. Got the seats and a few other bits and pieces, some doors. I think these are the boxes that the seats sit on. Again, all very. I hope these have been in shot. I must have been, I haven't been looking. So I apologise if they haven't been central. Uh, then these are the stretchers again. Oh, are these? No, these are the seats. And again, they've got some texture moulded in, some wrinkles. Very good. And got a firearm there, some sort of. Lee Enfield would it be? Some other little tiny pieces. I hope you can see that okay. And that's a duplicate sprue. And then again you've got these rather nice mouldings. 
with the louvers, cab floor with plank detail, no wood grain texture but I think that's a bit much to expect to be honest, uh, and various other small bits and pieces, that's that bag done, I won't attempt to get that one back in. Let's have a quick look at the clear parts. He just said they were a bit wavy, but mine look pretty good. Now these ones are wavy because I am assuming that these were plastic because the waviness goes onto this canvasy bit. So I would imagine that they were plastic and that's why they're wavy. But the clear parts, I hope you can see, the windscreen parts are very clear. And they're not the clearest but they have got a bit of distortion but I've seen a lot worse now this one they've got to have an interesting mix of resealable bags I'm assuming these are all the stretchers and these are all the same yes I'll just get one out so again they've got sag moulded into it very nicely done very nicely done some very fine pieces here and I presume this is a rolled up stretcher as I say maybe if I went back it shows you the interior where you had the option rolled up stretchers get stored inside just get one of these out because obviously these are the tyres apparently Airfix have got the wrong tread pattern <laughs> But as I say, I would like to see the whole tire moulded with just the hub or the actual wheel itself separated for ease of painting. And these, those two are the same. So you got another bit now. Didn't we see that somewhere earlier? Which makes me think there's two of them or oh, one's wrong. Find out, and you got the very center of the wheels, different front and back, jerry cans, water cans, and then you've actually got the wheel hubs. As I say, you still got a mask off, which is a bit of a pain, really. But they're very nicely molded. They've even got, I don't know if you can see it, the uh, tire details or about the helicopter I've obviously chosen the worst possible time to do this uh, this is a review anyway that is it it's a very nice kit now Peter again was comparing it to the Airfix one I think believe like me he hasn't got sorry about the rustling he hasn't got the air the Airfix one Airfix one slightly overpriced I think I think this I paid, I got a bit of discount on this, I got about, I paid 35 quid for it, 35, 36 pounds, and I think the best I've seen the Airfix one for is 29.99, a lot more detail in this, um, I'm not knocking the Airfix one at all, but I am aware that they've made a couple of errors, not as detailed obviously, but if you want to deal with a photo etch or don't want to deal with a photo etch I think the Airfix one is a good option I'm sure at some point somebody will bring out some resin tyres for the Airfix one to correct it and somebody will bring out some detailing bits if you want it looks a very good kit I've seen one built on the internet uh, Dave's Models if you want to check it out and it came out looking really good uh, don't get me wrong I'm not knocking it but again for instance um, there was another review com actually comparing them I can't remember who did that and they were questioning the radiators fronts or the fronts of the bonnet where the radiator is were different shapes who's right who's wrong um i believe airfix just went and scanned an RAF example had it had a replacement part so it wasn't completely genuine anyway i'm not knocking airfix well done for bringing it out um i might even end up getting the airfix one as well um and using the decals from this one to do the ice cold in Alex one but there you go um, one thing I wish manage, uh, manufacturers would do is talk to one another I mean they're obviously all out to make money but we've both had these kits both released within a few weeks of each other okay one's a lot more detailed than the other 
wouldn't it be nice if manufacturers spoke to each other and said hey you know gecko found a fix it hey we're thinking of doing the kt ambulance or the austin kt why whatever it is um you know we heard you were thinking about it you know either collaborate or you know see how far down the line one is to the other and say okay well we we're only thinking about it we'll go off and do something else and we get another kit but then again we've got the option here of doing a really detailed one or i'm going to say that the airfix one's probably like a an edward weekend edition aircraft it, it hasn't got the fancy bits in it so if you want to knock one out in a week buy the airfix one if you want to take a month get the gecko one um it, it's it's horses for courses as they say uh i'm waffling here but um anyway i hope that's giving you a bit of an insight into it um it is a very good kit i was also chatting with somebody on their live stream and he said the price is going up on this so if you can get hold of one um get one now that's why i went and got one. Oh, and uh then you got this little sheet for painting up the princess god bless her <laughs> anyway uh yeah very nice nice that they've included that and then on the back here it's got many thanks to the following gentlemen for their assistance are simon king andrew gad and curtis sang 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 sorry curtis if you ever find your way onto my terrible video i apologize for mangling your surname anyway guys hope you're all keeping well um survived the extremely hot weather earlier in the era here in england and uh, or the uk but i am in england so there you go anyway guys happy modeling and look after yourselves bye um, I mentioned other people's builds um, I will try and find them and put links in the description to below so you can go off and compare the airfix one see the build and see what Peter says about it if you're interested in seeing his review